God really does exist beyond the pages of the Bible. The Bible is God's word to us about what God can and will do for each one of us if we are willing, if we come to him. Well, Diane is a living testimony that God exists outside of the Bible um, initially. Who himself, well, no, I'm not going to spill any means. Anyway, uh, Diane Tian is uh, a lady from China. She came to the United States with her family to Las Vegas, right, first in 2013. And uh, she's lived in a couple of different places. I'll, I'll let her tell you the story. But you will be sitting on the edge of your seat as you listen and hear how God works in people's lives. I won't say any more. I'll just simply hand it to, over to Diane. But before we do, I want you to bow your heads with me as we invite God's presence with us again. Father in heaven, we thank you for your great love. We thank you, Lord, for your Sabbath, for this weekly rest that you invite us to be and spend with you. And we thank you that you have done this because you have created us and you love us and you know what's best for us. But Lord, as we uh, listen to a story of someone th who in whose life you intervened, I pray that you will open our eyes, open our ears, and keep us awake to hear the amazing testimony of someone who heard your voice. We thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers even now again, because we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Diane, it's all yours. Praise God and happy Sabbath, brothers and sisters. Yeah, it's so grateful to be here, the first time to be uh, uh, Arkansas, and especially uh, to this church and the set, you know, the worship our, uh, our God together and have opportunity to share my testimony with your, uh, every one of you. I'm a little bit, it's not nervous, it's, it's just like it, when the girls singing the Amazing Grace, I was teared. Yeah, because that was the first song touched me. Praise God, that's the gift, that's the gift from him today. <laughs> Sorry about that. And um, yeah, so after, because I am not English, uh, uh, English is not my uh, native uh, language, and uh, please ignore my pronunciation and the grammar. <laughs> and uh, uh, before I start, let's pray again. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful, and uh, now we're here to have an opportunity to be your witness, and uh, please forgive our sin, and uh, we ask for your presence, we ask for the Holy Spirit. Please be with us and uh, bless us. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you can see the Chinese letter. It seems like you guys can understand that. <laughs> the path of grace. So that's that's uh, I named uh, my uh, sermon. So my family, uh, where I'm from China, Beijing, and uh, my family, we moved to America in the end of June 2013. At that year, my little one was only six. My old one is uh, 12. So we settled down in Las Vegas because for the whole country, for me, it's all brand new. I need some friends who can help me because I couldn't speak English. I can only speak very limited, like, how are you, you know, and uh, I, remember, I remember at that time why I need to go to the, uh, maybe um, to, to go to the uh, water district office, and I couldn't understand uh, through the phone. I have to go to the office and uh, talk to them and use my translation, you know, <laughs> yeah, to, to, to help me to understand. And anyway, and the way uh, settled down in Las Vegas, and uh, during the um, uh, Christmas break, and my girls, uh, they, they don't have school, and uh, there was an idea came to my mind. It said, oh, maybe I need to go to California to visit. And I've been to Los, uh, uh, Los, Los Angeles once, but I didn't like the city at all. And I said, maybe some area I have never, ever been there, but it's, it's, it's beautiful and good. So at the moment, all the information 
to me is about Irvine, California. I don't know how many of you know that part. That's in uh, Southern California, uh, belong Orange County. That's a new city and a very beautiful new city. Uh, UCI, UC Irvine is in the city. And uh, why I made decision, and uh, then we went to Irvine to stay for a week. It was very nice and uh, the beautiful area. And uh, we spent a good time there. And uh, when I on my way back home, and I made decision, I want to move to Irvine. And after the new year, that's already the 2014 after new year, and uh, we went back to Los, uh, Las Vegas. And I talked to my parents and my husband. I said, I want to move to Irvine. I don't want to stay in Las Vegas, but I don't like the city. <laughs> I don't like it uh, at all. And uh, then my parents, they said, oh, you know, we just uh, settled down uh, only half a year. And how come you, you want to move? You know, it's too fast. And my husband said, yes, it's too fast. Maybe you can stay for two years, and uh, then you, you can move to anywhere you want. And uh, yeah, I thought maybe yes, because you know, for the moving, it costs a lot of money. And we just uh, settled down. I said, OK. So during the time, you know, I start to changing my mind at the time. And uh, at the same time, I had heart disease symptom. I couldn't breathe very well, and I always feel uncomfortable. So normally, when people got sick, they, they cannot move, right? But only for this reason, that make me feel like I need to go. I cannot stay in here even one more day. So I talked to my husband, I need to go. I need to, I, I need to move. And then I call. So because Irvine, California, I, I I didn't know anybody except a realtor in there. And I called her. I said, please find a house for, for my family. And I want to move there. And uh, 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 we need a house. And uh, we rent a condo in there. In March, in 1st of March, we whole family, we moved to Irvine. I didn't know anybody. And the, the girls start to go to school, but they need to go to ESL, English Second Language School. And uh, I was a little bit disappointed. And after a couple weeks, and the, the, uh, the water pipe leaked, was so bad. <laughs> and I was like, I said, maybe I made a mistake. Why I moved to here? Because a lot of you know, the, the trouble looks like the, the trouble happened. And we spent a couple months to fix the whole kitchen, everything. It, is, it was really bothered me. And after that, I, I thought, OK, so no, the, the girls, they are um, going to school. And I need to uh, meet some, uh, make some friends who an uh, English speaker, because I need to practice my English. I start to go to uh, adult English, uh, ESL school. But I also need to make some uh, friends, and uh, I can talk to them. So that's, that was the one year. The, the, um, uh, the same day, this couple, they are from South Africa. They are evangelists, and uh, they move into our community. And at the first day when they move into our community, we met to each other at a swimming, to, uh, swimming pool house. And uh, they are very nice people, and uh, their English is very slow. <laughs> it's so slower than American people. And it was kind of easy for me, and I have chance. We have chance to talk to each other, and uh, they try to share the gospel to me, but I couldn't understand because that's too deep for me. I can only do very simple conversation with them. But they're very nice people, and uh, we had good time. So that was in J July after the first of July, and once Lucinda, her name is Lucinda, she. She texted me. She said, uh, "Do you guys uh, have ha have time? And uh, we are going to the movie." I said, "Yes, of course. You know, we moved to America over a year, and uh, I was busy and uh, with girls' school and uh, for the moving everything. And uh, I didn't have time to bring my girls to any, f you know, the, the 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 film." I said, "Yes, we 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 can go." And uh, then. She said, oh, you don't need to drive. And uh, you, I can give you a ride. You guys can go with me. I said, OK. See, God provide every detail you know, and for us. 
we arrived at the theater. And uh, this, the movie, that's the annual new movie for the year 2014, name is The Perfect Wave. The story is about there was a uh, the little boy named Ian. He was born in a, a Christian family, and uh, when he grew up, became teenager, he uh, uh, talked to his parents. He said, I don't think God exists because I could not see him. I could not hear from him. I could not talk to him. Then he left. He became a, a surfer to, uh, to, to do the surfing uh, in the ocean. And once when he was in Africa in the midnight, he dived uh, in the, into the ocean and there was a very poisoned jellyfish bat him. And with no shots, and the people can die in two hours. And uh, after he uh, uh, got, uh, uh, get to the hospital, and after every the, the the doctors do their best to try to help her help him, but he lose all the physical data. And at the last moment, he prayed because at the same time, Holy Spirit let his parents know their son was in danger, and uh, his parents was praying at the same time. So then he made a prayer in the last moment. He said, Lord, I forgive all the people who hurt me, and uh, please forgive me. And uh, then he died. He, because he lost all the data, the machine could not find any you know, the, uh, alive data through his body. And uh, for almost 40 minutes. And uh, then he saw, he remembered that there was a light came above him. And he heard the voice from Jesus. And Jesus talked to him. And he was so excited. He said, Jesus, can I go back? And I want, because now I believe God is exist. And can I go back, uh, you know, to see my mom, let my mom know I'm a believer right now. And then he came back. And Jesus told him, be evangelist and share my gospel to the world. And for me, the whole the movie is very beautiful. But for me, I try my best to follow the whole story because that's that's the second uh, second language, and I just follow the the movie. So the whole story didn't touch me. But when the movie finished and they pay, they put the his information on the screen. And then when I saw the, his picture, and I asked my friend, I said, Jared, is this a real story? And he said, yes, and the Ian is outside. You can see him later. I said, OK. So, so I didn't interesting about that, because I, I just uh, you know, pay all focus on the English, you know, the new words for me. And then after movie, people, they, uh, they went to the, the hall, and uh, they were waiting for a long line for his signature, for his prayer, you know, for uh, waiting for the, for the book. And I have to stand right there and wait my friend until they finished, because I didn't drive. If I drive that day, I left already. And I have to stay. I stand right there. I have nothing to can do, and then Almost every, everybody left, and uh, my friends, they're evangelists, so they, they need to stay until the end. And uh, Jared, he came to me. He said, Diane, do you want to meet Ian? And uh, you can, uh, yeah, you, uh, do you want to meet him? I said, yes, of course. You know, that's a good chance for me to practice my English. Yeah, so, you know, you know that's my real thinking. Yeah, I need more, you know, chance to practice my English. I said, yes, of course. And uh, then I follow my friend and I move forward to Ian. He was standing right there. So when I move forward to him, he was like the distance, like uh, Brother Lucas and me. And I watched, I, I saw his eye. He has very beautiful uh, blue eye. And I, when I saw his eye, and I start to cry. with no reason. Because for me, I'm a very strong personality people. I'm not crying people. I don't know why. Why I cry in front of a stranger? And I try my best because the cry is not a tear. It's not, I couldn't control myself. Just like, you know, it's, it's very, you know, it's crying like that. 
And I tried my best to control. I said, no, why, why, I, I need to stop, but I couldn't. And for Ian and my friends, Jared and Lucinda, and they all know that is from Holy Spirit. And then Ian hold my hand, and, and he said, when I calm down, and he, he let me cry on his shoulder, and I messed up his suit. And <laughs> the, 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 ne the, the next year, when I met him again, and he still remember me. And <laughs> that, that was uh, embarrassing. And <laughs> yeah, and then uh, when I calm down, and he hold my hand, he talked to me. He said, repeat after me. And he helped me to do the salvation prayer. I just uh, copy his word. And I made a decision to accept Jesus as my prayer, a uh, uh, savior. At least 90% I couldn't understand. I just uh, cop copy his words. But since that moment, the peace and the joy came to my, to my heart. That's the experience I have never, ever had before, whole my life. And since that moment, I believe in God is exist. And I start to go to church. You know, this is, I have never been to church. I have never heard any words about gospel. And God changed me in one second. I became a believer. And I started going to church with my friend, and that was Sunday church. So we took the picture that day. So this is from Bible, and uh, we can read that. <laughs> and uh, you know, God called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So that is the moment, that was the moment for me God called me out of darkness, uh, darkness into his marvelous light. Do you still remember the moment God called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light? We need to review, review again and again. And then we start a women Bible study in my friend's house because a lot of new immigrants uh, in Irvine and they love to, uh, to make friends, they love to learn how to speak English. So I invite people from ESL school and uh, to join the Bible study. And uh, we had good time at that time. So after that, that was uh, in 2014. In 2014, October, I baptized in Sunday church. I had a very special baptism and which God provides for me. That's another testimony. It's kind of long and he healed my very deep herm and I wish I can share maybe in the future. And after I be, I've been uh, baptized, my whole life changed and uh, everything changed. During the time, my husband, he's not Christian. Even, even right now, he didn't, uh, he need a baptism, but he's not. And I still pray for him. At the time, he need to work in Beijing, China. So he back forth, you know, uh, between here and uh, uh, Beijing, China. So that was the year we separate for a long time. When he came back, we start to argue to each other. That never ever happened during our, you know, for this year, we, we got married 25, uh, 30 years. So that never ever happened during our marriage. But we know that's all from Satan. And we start to argue to each other. And we were talking about divorce. It was it was very serious problem for me. And that was in March. It was my little one's birthday. We gave her a good a birthday party. And after his birthday, he got sick. He, he was running a high fever. He was laying on the bed and I start to read the Bible for, for her. The Bible 
the scripture I read is in Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. When I read this verse, I was teared because I know God was talking with me, because he knows my heart. Even I made mistake, but he knows my heart. And then my little one, he fall into sleep, and I couldn't stay inside the house because we argued to each other, and uh, it was very bad. It's already 10.30 p.m. I said, okay, I need to go outside, take a walk. I got, I, uh, got out of the house, and I was listening to the music, and I was praying at the same time. And I, I pray, I said, Lord, what is truth? And please let me know what, what, is the, what, what happened between our marriage and uh, what can I do for the next, time, uh, next step for my family. And after a while, it seems like God didn't reply. I said, okay, I don't want to ask for any answer for, my, for this uh, situation. So I just pray for, because you're faithful, you said when we pray and then you will listen. I said, I need to know this moment why praying and that you are listening and that you are be with me. And at the same time, there was a voice came into my mind. Show me a star. Because uh, sorry about that, I forgot the one um, detail. When I got out of the house, it was cloudy and it was drizzling. It was in the uh, 10 30 p.m. already there was no moon there was no star and when the voice came to me and I speak out immediately I said Lord show me a star then show me let me know you are listening to me and you are here be with me and after that I start to walk around and around and around it was almost 50 minutes and uh, during the 50 minutes, there was another boy, voice came to me through the back. It says, maybe not. I know that it, that was Satan. And I said, Satan, get out of here. And the, the voice disappeared. I was exhausted. I said, okay, I need to go back to the house and stay and wait until you show me in front of the house. Why start move back to the house? Suddenly, I look up, and uh, there was a hole right above me. There was a star in there, only one. It was not very bright because it was cloudy. I, you, I also can see the cloth was moving, only one. But you cannot see it here uh, like this. You can only see it when you raise up your head. It's right above me. And I was tear up. I look, because when I look, look back my life, I have I have very good life, maybe better than at least half people of this world. My parents loved me and my husband treat me very well. But that, that love is all from the flesh and the blood. They can only give the thing they have. Who can give you a star? We have a father in heaven. He's creator, he can give everything to you. And he can search your heart, and he knows all your need. And I was teared up, and I stand right under the, the star. I start to pray. The only prayer, I said, Lord, I want to serve you. Please use me. This is the only prayer. And the... God is faithful. 
So now I'm a 10 years old uh, Christian. I experience a lot, a lot, a lot. Almost every single day. And in, in Psalm, uh, King, also, uh, the King David, he also said, what are the human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? We are nothing, but by Jesus Christ, we became his daughter and the son. What a miracle, what, what a grace, what a most merciful. That was in March in 2015. In September uh, of 2015, that was the first time my parents, they came over America to visit my family. So we left uh, China, uh, China already two years and uh, we didn't go back and my parents, they came over. After I became a believer, I started to pray for my parents because my dad, he has very, you know, the bad, you know, the shape and he need to go to the hospital twice a year when season changed, uh, even while I was in Beijing. And uh, after I became a believer, I started to pray for them. And uh, since that time till now, he has never ever go to hospital. God is good. And uh, then I, I pray for, the, for them. I said, Lord, if you have, you know, you want to save them, please help them to come to US. It's, it's way easier to me to share, uh, you know, uh, share with them. And uh, then they went to the Beijing embassy because you guys all know for the US visa, it's very difficult to, to get. When they arrive there, uh, people, they need to wait at least maybe four, three or four hours for the interview. When they arrived at the embassy and uh, there was a staff there, opened the other door and uh, called them. They said, please come this, this way, come this way. And uh, they get into the office and uh, they got the interview immediately and uh, they got a visa. And in September, I was so excited when they arrived. I said, okay, so I'm going to share my testimony. I, sh I share, you know, how, you know, how God, uh, you know, how good God is to them, share the gospel with them. And uh, they were sitting there and uh, very polite and uh, just like, mm, okay, okay. <laughs> but you can, you can see they don't understand because their eyes, their ear were not open. So at that time, I, that's the first lesson for me. And I understand we cannot ch change people. Only God can change people. And I said, OK, what can I do? During the two, uh, 2015, the new year, the Sunday church, I was in Sunday church. And the pastor encouraged everybody to start 21 days fasting. But for their fasting, it's different with us. They're fasting, they fast, maybe they, do, they stop eating uh, ice cream for 21 days. And uh, they, some of them stop watching some, you know, the favorite show for 21 days. That is their fasting. But at, at that time, I know there is a thing called fasting in Bible. And I did research and the, the, the answer is Daniel 21 days fasting. I said, okay, I'm gonna do 21 days fasting for my, for my parents and to see what God will do uh, you know, to them. And I start my 21 days. During the 21 days, I took them to Hawaii for one week for the vacation. We had good time and God gave us very good deal. And uh, yeah, it was so blessed. But in the last night when we were in there, my mom got very bad diarrhea. And uh, I, I was like, I said, I didn't, I didn't have any medication with me uh, and uh, med medicine with me, and I couldn't bring her to, um, to the hospital because it's, it, it was already late. And then the next day, early morning, we need to flow back to Los Angeles. And then I pray, I said, Lord, so you bless our trip. And now my mom was sick, uh, is sick, and I lose my peace. I give all the problem to you, and uh, you, can, you are in charge. So you, you, you can do everything you want. And then I fall into sleep. I also can hurt my mom, you know, in the midnight, he went to the, she went to the, the, the bathroom. The next day, early morning, we woke up. My mom was weak, but she could follow us. 
and then we check out, uh, we, we return the car, we flew six hours back to Los Angeles and the one and a half hour drive back to home. And after dinner, she went outside with my dad to took a walk. And then I asked I ask her, how are you feeling? And she said, you know, I had a very good sleep and I recovered. I said, no, God healed you. Why, why saying that? Because in August, before, he, before she came, she had the same problem in Beijing. And it took over a month for the recovery. So she knows her body. And she started to thinking because that happened on her body. And I pray, I said, Lord, because they, they cannot understand in English, and I took them to, I said, please guide us to a Chinese church. That's a Sunday church, too. And we went to the church. When the first time they attended, uh, uh, attended church service, when the people start singing, they both cared. And in November, Thanksgiving, they both baptized. God is good. So, yeah. And then I did 21 days fasting for my parents, right? So after 21 days, and I have a week for the gap because I try to show my parents more about the, the Bible, you know, the prophecy for them. They're getting old. It's hard to read for a long time. So I start to showing them uh, the video, which I got before they uh, came. In Sunday church, all of you know, you know, they don't teach anything about the prophecy and that they only give you the good message or oh, you're safe, you, you know, God is good, you know, that's it. So for me, I start, uh, I study day by day and I pray because I couldn't understand in the English sermon. So I pray every single day and the God show me the stuff I need to learn every single day. And then I, I start to be very curious about the Bible prophecy. And I said, yes, uh, in Bible, a lot of prophecy. I need to know about that. And then I did research, amazing facts shows up. Yeah, so that's a, a series of uh, 10 videos. Uh, the sermon is about uh, the revelation teaching from Doug Batchelor. And I finished the first maybe four or five and uh, the, the videos. But when my parents arrived, I was busy, so I couldn't finish the, you know, the, the follow the rest of the videos. And uh, that day, I was cooking, and I, I, I put the, this video and show this video to my parents. They were sitting on the couch, and uh, they were watching because they have Chinese translation, everything. And I was cooking. That's a small house, and I was cooking. And uh, the, that video was teaching about the Sabbath. And, and I was listening at the same time, and I was like, what? So Sabbath, what is Sabbath? Because I have never, ever heard, because we all only focus on the New Testament. I didn't even read the, you know, the, that much about the, the Old Testament. I said, what is Sabbath? And uh, then I replayed the video again, and I found my Bible, and I find every verse from Doug Bachelor, I said, yes, that is true. And how come, if that day is very important, how come people keep Sunday, not Sabbath? I need to, I need to know why. Because Bible shows that's true. And then, because I already have a lot of experience and uh, I have my own relationship with, with God and I know the way when he talked to me, I said, I said, yes, of course, all the hu human being can make mistake, but God is truth. So I'm gonna ask him directly and I'm not ask any human being. So I said, okay, I'm gonna start the other 21 days fasting for this question and the God will show me the truth. And that was, uh, I started the, the, the other 21 days fasting on Sunday morning. So that day, I also go to the Sunday church, but I didn't eat anything. After sermon, I went to the pastor and I asked him, I said, why we don't uh, keep Sabbath? Because in Bible, we need to 
show us we need to keep Sabbath. And he gave me one of the wrong, the, the, the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the uh, dog bachelor ex explained a lot of the, the wrong answer. I said, okay, I'm going to start my 21 days. And uh, after two weeks, that was a morning, and uh, when I opened my iPad, and uh, all these scriptures shows up. And uh, Isaac, can you be the volunteer? You can read the, the scripture. He brought me out into a broad place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord. I have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his ordinances were before me. And his statutes I did not put away from me. Amen. Why read those scriptures? I know God was talking to me through the Bible. I know Sabbath is his day. I need to keep Sabbath. And I pray, I said, Lord, please guide me to a church which uh, keeps Sabbath. And I did research and I realized in Orange County, because uh, that's a you know, huge pop, uh, the, the Asian, the Chinese population in Orange County, but I couldn't find even any Chinese fellowship in there. I said, okay, uh, get me to a church. So that was uh, two weeks. The last week, and the Holy Spirit showed me another thing. After my old one was born, when, he, when she was two years old, my left in that finger has a shingle problem. So you guys all know that. There was no medicine can heal this problem. It was stitchy, it, it was painful. All my nail changed the shape. And uh, I was struggle with that. And uh, my mom told me for Asian people, we have a habit to wear some jade, the, you know, like the, the stone. Uh, yeah, the, then my mom told me, you have a, a jade uh, a breakfast. You can wear that to see if that works. I said, okay. So I put the, the jade breakfast on, and it works. When I put the, that, the, the jade on, the shingles gone. And I have to wear that over 10 years. Because when I remove it, the shingles came back immediately. At the last week, Holy Spirit told me, this power is not from God. And then, that was the first Sabbath I worshiped God. And before I left, I pray. I said, Lord, I know this power is not from you. I don't want to rely on any power that is not from you. Now, I remove it. And no matter you heal or not, I will accept. So I remove the stuff. And God healed me at the day. And I arrived at church. That was the first, uh, the first time to, to worship our God. And in Psalm, it says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He provides everything for us. And uh, then when I talked to my, my friends, the, uh, the South Africa uh, evangelist, I said, we need to keep Sabbath. And uh, they, <laughs> they became a Christian for their whole life. Uh, uh, you know, since they were young, they, they grew up uh, in the Christian family. And uh, they said, no, the, uh, the SDA, the Advent uh, Adventist church, they're caught. <laughs> You know, you cannot do that, you know, and Jesus already fulfilled everything. We don't need to fulfill, we don't need to keep his law anymore. So he finished, he, he's done, and everything uh, be crucified on cross. So you, you cannot do that. Then we have to separate. They were my best friends at the time. And I start to invite my friends, came to my house, joined the Bible study, and I was teaching, I was learning, and at the same time, 
I didn't even walk through the Bible at that time. But every week, and I pray, and God show me stuff, and you know, it was very simple. And I, for example, like a dog bachelor's sermon, and I review, review, and I write down the all the point, and then I just like a copy machine, and I give everything to people. This is the way God helped me to grow up. And a year later, so this is 2016. That was the first time. I speak in English, introduce myself at the church. This is the church in Irvine, Irvine Church. And I was so happy because the church people, they are very nice people. And they, they said uh, we're uh, caring and sharing. So they treat me very well. It, but so it's, hard, it, it's not judgment. I just want to say the truth, you know, the, the fact to you guys. So that church, that's the church. Uh, you know, all the sermon, as same as Sunday church. No Ellen G. White, no prophecy, the book of Daniel, a revelation, nothing. The same message with Sunday church. And uh, they have after church lunch in restaurants twice a month. But the first year, I didn't know, right? So I joined, I, I started to keep Sabbath, and uh, I was very happy with the new relationship with church people. And after a year, and uh, God guided me to, uh, to, more, uh, to, to have more understanding about Sabbath. Then I said, I could not follow anymore. And I stopped going to the restaurant after a year. And then God is, God is faithful. He said, and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. And he will show the truth to you and the step by step. So I received the prophecy and the spirit of the prophecy by God himself because he guided me to there. When I teach my group about the book of Daniel, that was the first time I, I did a study by myself. And uh, what well, I realized, 1844, and the, the, the investigate uh, judgment already starts. And I was shocked. I said, what is already almost, <laughs> you know, 200 years? And how come? I didn't know that. You know, I already became Adventist for over a year. But, you know, when you need the truth, and God will show it to you. And after a year, that was in January again in 2017. And that was Sabbath in the morning. And the Holy Spirit told me, go to pastor and ask for a room for your group. Because we have Bible study in my house, not, not church. I said, okay. Then I went to pastor. I, I asked him. I said, so can we have a room for my group? I have a Chinese group in my house. But I'd like to invite people to come to church on Sabbath. And the pastor told me, oh, yes, there, there is a room available since yesterday. And we got a room, and we start our own Chinese group in Orange County. At the first year, we were so blessed. There were seven people baptized. And <laughs> we have over 10 families after a year. That's a, that's a small church. Yeah, we have, uh, uh, here is the picture uh, when they got uh, baptism. And then we have baby dedication. Yeah, I miss them very much. <laughs> but we also have online worship uh, for now. Yeah, even I already in Georgia, not in California. We had a lot of good time and uh, experience. So this was in 2019, in summer, that was uh, the, uh, the Southern California Conference summer camp meeting. I was sharing my testimony in there. So in the end of 2019, we almost, because we got our own place, and uh, that was a church. And so everybody think we're going to start a new church in there, but that is not God's will. 
and the 2020, we know the pandemic happened. So everywhere locked down, we have to do online worship. And uh, so Holy Spirit told me start a, uh, the, the Chinese group online, then I can give the Bible teaching, uh, you know, include the people who live in China and uh, in uh, the different state in America. So we start a group and it was awesome. God bless our um, study at the first two years to 2021 because for my family and uh, we uh, we were seeking for the country living because our you know from LNG white we know the country living is very important for for our family and uh, we were seeking for the country living but God didn't open the door in California and uh, then I pray I said Lord so where you want me go and uh, let me know and uh, then Holy Spirit told me focus on Tennessee and the Georgia, the north of Georgia, the mountain area. I said, okay, but I have never ever visited Georgia before, before we moved to there. And it, that was New Year again. It was in 2021 uh, to 22, the New Year, uh, uh, the, the time. And uh, we spent two weeks in Georgia and uh, we all love it there. We said, okay, so maybe in summer we can come back to, to check the environment, to see the houses in here. Then maybe we can find the, the house that God provides for me, for, for, for us. Because my prayer is because we, we're looking for the property for the end. It's not only for the country living, for the end. And I pray, I said, Lord, this property is going to be, it's not only for my family. It will be for your people who cannot prepare by themselves. And uh, when we uh, stay in Georgia for two weeks, I had uh, one week stay in Chattanooga with my friend. And uh, we ha when we had um, Bible study, I have a very good uh, devotional study book named the um, Baptism of the Holy Spirit. So now you guys all know about that. And uh, that's a Chinese version. And uh, I got that already, I think, over two years. But I was busy. I couldn't even read uh, the, the, the whole thing. When I was in the sister's house, and the Holy Spirit told me, start a 10 days prayer meeting with your group when you go back to California. And uh, when I went back to California, and I forgot it. That was Wednesday, we have a Bible study on Wednesday evening, and uh, in the morning, Holy Spirit told me again, start 10 days prayer meeting and uh, pray for the Holy Spirit with your group today. And uh, <laughs> in the evening, I talked to my group. I said, we need to, uh, I got a, uh, the devotional study, 10 days prayer meeting, and uh, we need to do the 10 days uh, study. And uh, they all love it. They said, okay, we can, we can start the er in the early morning because some of them, they need to work. And uh, I said, okay. So we start at 6 every morning for 10 days, and uh, lots of miracles happen. A uh, Lots of, lots of miracles happen. This was the first time. I uh, start uh, about this message, be uh, baptized of the Holy Spirit. And the after, after I got more understanding for the whole year in 2021, and I share with the people in California and the did several times, 10 days, the prayer meeting, it was so blessed. And then, then you guys might maybe ask, but why you moved to Georgia and uh, you already have group in California, right? And <laughs> in 2021, in April, my husband came back to America because in 2000, um, uh, no, uh, it's two uh, 2022, April, he came back to Georgia because in 21, he did heart surgery in China. And uh, he spent almost a year for the recovery. And uh, yeah, so it, it was very serious, uh, the, the surgery. And uh, when he came back, uh, I need to take care of him. And I couldn't have time to go to Georgia. And I was like, oh, I, I really want to go and uh, see <laughs> you know, the, the, the property, the, the house th in there. But I couldn't go. And God is amazing because my husband is not Christian. Every time, and God can, you know, can change his mind and uh, can support you know, whole, the, the whole you know, the old God's will. And in October, he told me, I need to go back to China. I said, why? Because 
that was uh, in 2022. Uh, they still ask for 21 days quarantine when you arrive there. You need to stay at the hotel for 21 days, and uh, then you can go, uh, go anywhere I you want. And I said, okay, let's pray for that. And uh, we pray for that because the tickets was very expensive, and uh, we pray for that. And uh, he got the cheapest the tickets next day. And I said, okay, this is God's will. And uh, yeah, and uh, he can go there. At the same day, when he got the tickets, in the evening, Holy Spirit told me, move. And I said, okay. And I talked to my husband. I said, God told me we need to move. And uh, now you already have your tickets, and uh, you can go back to China and uh, spend your time there. And the whole moving thing, and I will... You know, uh, yeah, I, I will uh, do everything. You don't need to worry about that. When you come back, maybe we already, you know, uh, get the house and the God already, uh, you know, give us uh, what we need. And he said, okay. And I told him we need to sell the house in California. And he doesn't want to do that. And I prayed and he changed his mind. And in the middle of December, and he left in the end of October, in the middle of December 2022, my whole family, we just uh, packed our personal stuff. I left all my furniture, almost everything in there because moving was super expensive. And uh, we pack our personal stuff into the past, the small container, and uh, we drive 2000, uh, uh, 2,200 miles <laughs> all the way from California to here. And we stay in the uh, Airbnb for three months. And we don't have front yard, we don't have backyard. I have to take my dogs to dog park. That's the way and the God used me to reach people, to share the, gr the great controversy, to, to share the books. And I spent a couple months to, to know why God sent me here. Because I pray, I said, Lord, if the the People in Atlanta, even only one need a message. And uh, you need to somebody to go there to share to him, send me go. And uh, once I was uh, attending church service, and uh, there was a lady who shared her testimony in the front. And uh, then Holy Spirit told me, share your testimony and uh, bring the message, be baptized of the Holy Spirit. Because when we, uh, before we start 10 days, uh, the prayer meeting, Holy Spirit told me this message is the preparation for lettering. And I start to go to different SDA church and I uh, share my testimony and uh, share the book of uh, 10 days devotional study. For the 50 days, this is why I can know Brother Lucas. That happened during the new year, this year. And I had 21 days fasting. And the Holy Spirit told me, finish the translation about the 50 days, the book, into Chinese. And uh, then God helped me finish the old translation, and I, I sent it back to uh, China, and uh, they put on the website, a lot of people, they can, they can see it. I, I, during the translation, I work on this message already for almost two years, but I still shocked. This book is amazing. I can say this is the last warning message for his people, not only for SDA, not only for us, it's for all his people, for Sunday church people, for other religion people. It's very, very important. So during the trans before I finish, and the, that's a strong desire in, inside me, I need to book the, uh, the, the order the books and uh, share this book to, to people. And uh, I emailed the, 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 uh, the, the writer, and uh, he gave me the information about uh, Brother Lucas. Because, oh, I went to the small church in the mountain. And uh, during the potluck, and I, I tried to uh, talk to people there, and I gave the copy, the 10 days devotional study. And uh, there was a sister, and uh, she came to me. She said, it seems like I have the same stuff you know, the, 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 the with you. I said, what? And I was goosebumped, and uh, she showed me the book. Because the, uh, the, the church pastor ordered the book maybe a year ago, two years ago, before I met him. 
but the 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 rest of the book is is in the in the office. Yeah, yeah. So then I got the book and I said, okay. Then so it it looks very good. And uh, during the so the the twenty one days fasting and the Holy Spirit to told me translate this book and uh, finish. So. So then the book finished in 21 days. And uh, during the time, I tried to contact the people who responds to this book. And uh, the next day, the first day I uh, emailed Brother Lucas, and the next day he called me. I was shocked. I said, why? Why is this guy called me? And uh, the first uh, question from him, he said, how do you find this book? I, so I said, uh, the only thing I can say is God showed me this book. It's not, I found it. I cannot find this book. So after all of this, the message, you know, that is why today I'm here. Because whole my journey from the very beginning and every step, God guide me by himself. Yeah, so that's the next part. And uh, you might be curious, and, uh, where uh, do I live right now? Because I told you I, I'm in the mountain. So Satan tried to stop us like crazy. In last April, my house was sold, was closed on, uh, in April on Monday. So I was exhausted. On Tuesday, I got the money. I said, OK, I need to take a break, because a lot of weird things happened. When the, pe the house was pending, my roof was leaked. My swimming pool was leaked, and uh, my solar system had uh, the problem. And uh, my realtor told me, hi, Diane. So during my over 30 years career, I have never, ever experienced some weird thing like your, <laughs> like your house. And it was crazy. And uh, I said, OK. So on Tuesday, I got money. I said, OK, I'm done, and I need to take a break. And in the afternoon, around 5, Holy Spirit told me, call your realtor. And I call my realtor because the property I got right now, I asked my realtor, I said, please uh, ask them why this house on the market over a year. Because it looks, it, uh, it has big acres and it has everything. It's dated, but you know, it's very uh, good property. I need to know why it's still on the market. Nobody wants it. And he said, OK. And on Wednesday in the morning, and he called me back. He said, Diane, do you know, maybe this house and uh, that's is uh, God provide for your family. I said, OK, you can I explain. He said, 10 minutes ago, why I called their realtor? And he said, 10 minutes ago, the owner made decision to reduce the price because it was over my budget. That was half million drop. Because the house was dated, I need to do a lot of renovation, a lot of work. If I pay all pay for the house, I cannot do, uh, do any change. And uh, God used property to let me reach people. And I know almost everybody in Home Depot in my area. <laughs> and uh, God sent people to me, and I have chance to share the the books, the, uh, the, the great controversy, and uh, now with 50 days. So this is my journey. And uh, three weeks ago, and uh, I shared some, this part uh, with some of you, and uh, when Brother Lucas told me he going to go to Arkansas, and uh, he going to drive uh, 24 uh, Henry miles, and I was, it was so touched, and uh, he need to close his office for three weeks. It was so touched, that, and I said, OK, I, need, I will pray for you. And uh, that was Saturday evening. And on Tuesday, Holy Spirit told me, go to Arkansas to share your testimony, support the message. And uh, then I called Brother Lucas immediately, and uh, he said, let's pray for that. Because today, today, I have schedule already. I need to go to another church to share. And uh, after the, the Tuesday, on Wednesday, the elder from the church called me. She asked me, so is there any possible you can do, you know, the actually last week and not this week? I said, yes, of course, I can do that. But at that time, I didn't know, you know, God will send me here, you know, today, this Sabbath. So after everything getting clear, clear and clear, and on Friday, my car overheated, 
And on Sunday, early morning, 1.40 a.m., 1.40 a.m., my glass door of the, the shower glass door, nobody touch it, it's broken. 1.40 a.m. And on the next week, Wednesday, after I booked my tickets online, and the, my, the other car's windshield broken. Satan is, was, is crazy <laughs> trying to stop us. But there is no power can stop God's will. Because our Lord Jesus overcome everything of this world. We don't need to worry about anything. If that thing like that happened, we need to be cheerful because we are doing God's will. We are doing right. So God is faithful. So for this morning, the, the sermon uh, uh, from Brother Lucas, I really like it because God gave, uh, gave us the remain, the rest of the, uh, uh, the, the Sabbath for us, which is, which is Jesus Christ. We need to be rest on the truth that Jesus already overcome sin, overcome temptation, and overcome internal death for us. We can do nothing on this work. So the only way is from the, 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 the only thing we can do is pray for the Holy Spirit. Because after we pray for the Holy Spirit and the God will give us the Holy Spirit and the Jesus can abide in us and the he can do his work through this body. This is the only solution. He is the only way to us. So even in um, Ellen G. White, and she gave us uh, the the very serious warning about the uh, the latter ring, uh, be prepared for the latter ring. And uh, uh, Isaac, you can be the volunteer because I didn't put it. <laughs> yeah, she can read. No, no, no. I sent to your okay, cell phone, then one. you can. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to read both of them? Yeah. Okay. It says, in the east, the former rain falls at the sowing time. It is necessary in order that the seed may germinate. Under the influence of the fertilizing showers, the tender shoot springs up. The latter rain, falling near the close of the season, ripens the grain and prepares it for the sickle. The Lord employs these operations of nature to represent the work of the Holy Spirit, as the dew and the rain are given first to cause the seed to germinate and then to ripen the harvest so the Holy Spirit is given to carry forward from one stage to another the process of spiritual growth. The ripening of the grain represents the completion of the work of God's grace in the soul. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the moral image of God is to be perfected in the character. We are to be wholly transformed into the likeness of Christ. Next statement too. It says, the latter rain, ripening earth's harvest, represents the spiritual grace that prepares the church for the coming of the Son of Man. But unless the former rain has fallen, there will be no life. The green blade will not spring up. Unless the early showers have done their work, the latter rain can bring no seed to perfection. Many have in a great measure failed to receive the former rain. They have not obtained all the benefits that God has thus provided for them. They expect that the lack will be supplied by the latter rain. When the richest abundance of grace shall be bestowed, they intend to open their hearts to receive it. They are making a terrible mistake. I think nobody wants to make that mistake. And the mm. God, that's why God sent this amazing message to us the last warning for his people and the, because he prepared everything for us in john chapter 14 verse 16 and the, jesus said and i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever this is holy spirit and the, then in the follow up the uh, the uh, the verse 18 and the, jesus said i will not leave you comfortless i will come to you 
So he said he will come to us through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. After the Holy Spirit, and he will come to us. And he also ca call us, come to me, and I can give you the rest. Because all the salvation work is not nothing about us. That all his work, and he finished everything. And in um, uh, John uh, 14, verse 10, and he also said, uh, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, the Father, but the Father that dwells in me, he do the works. So we need to have the same experience with Jesus, and we need to allow him to abide in us and do his work through us. Through us. Then all his uh, character will manifest through us, and all the fruits of the Holy Spirit will manifest through us to this world. Nothing about us. So this is the real rest. We, every, any work from us is not good. Only God himself. So for now, in the, the Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, and now is the moment that Jesus said, I stand at the door and the knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him. And he with me. We're looking forward for the for the uh, for that moment for the for the second coming. And the, uh, here uh, the in Romans it also said, now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So this is what we must have. We need to pray for the early ring right now and be prepared for the latter ring. So this is the message for us and the, the the last verse is from Isaiah uh, chapter um, 60 verse 1 arise shine for for thy light is come and the, the glory of God, of lord is risen upon thee so that light is Jesus Christ so i don't so i, I don't know uh, if i still have chance to meet every one of you in the future maybe not but when the second coming, during the moment, we will meet each other with Jesus together in there. I'm looking forward for that moment. And uh, may God bless you and uh, use you, this group, and, uh, and uh, get the whole church and the uh, community to the end. Our goal, the internal life. Thank you. <laughs>